Welcome to Inside the Mastermind. We're here today with Maxwell Ventura. How are you? I'm fantastic. I am yeah. so excited to talk about San Diego with you. Because you know San Diego so well, and San Diego is expanding and growing. What do you think is going to happen to the future of San Diego? Yeah, tremendously. It's, it is growing. And so um, yesterday, I had the privilege of uh, listening to a living legend, uh, Alan Nevin, who's an economist, local respected economist here Amazing. in San Diego. So I thought it would be, it would be helpful to regurgitate <laughs> some of the, uh, the message that he, that he had brought out. But I think first it's important to paint a, a quick picture as to where the market's at right now. Yeah. Right. So if we look at year over year numbers, our, uh, start with median sales price. It's essentially the same. Um, as it was a year ago, okay. right? So, so attached and detached single family homes around 767,000. One of the big numbers that's changed is the days on market, which is essentially has doubled from 22 to 42 days. Wow. Right, so about a month and a half. However, and this is the main point I wanna illustrate, is that the number of homes that are active right now are 2,500. It's up 20% from this time last year, but the number is scarcely low because our month supply of inventory, 1.1 months. And so essentially- <laughs> Whoa, quickly. Yeah. If all homes that were on the market sold right now, in 30 days we would have zero homes on the market and nobody would be able to buy a home, right? Correct. Or one month and 1.1 1, 1 months, we'd be out of inventory. Yeah, so if the market were to continue moving at the same pace, yeah. and yet no new inventory were to come to market, we'd only have 1.1 months of inventory. And Which is crazy to me. Crazy. And for some context, the healthy market is going to be between four and six months, and even between buyers and sellers market. So we're, there's still uh, very low supply and high demand. So in transitioning to the growth of San Diego, there's three factors that the economy, the world economy really revolves around. That's oil, which I'm not here to talk about, <laughs> interest rates, and demographics. So interest rates. We know where they're at now. They're forecasted to be between five and a half and six and a half percent throughout the remainder of 2023. Amazing. Amazing. Exactly. Thank you. Historically <laughs> low. Historic yeah. interest rates at 18 percent is like normal, right? <laughs> right. No. So this is very, very low. It's it's very low, and it's 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 actually lower than normal going back the last 10, 20, 30 years or so. What we yeah. saw just two years ago during COVID was anything but normal. It was an abnormality. Oh yeah. To expect that those rates are going to come back anytime soon, you know, I would submit to you that it's an illusory statement. Oh yeah. So regarding uh, rates, that's just where they're forecasted to be. And uh, so the last category is demographics. Demographics are going to be the most important contributor to the world's future. And so for San Diego, we can start with jobs. So jobs are actually back to pre-COVID levels. The, Amazing. The unemployment rates, 3.4%, which essentially is zero. Yeah. Um, the cruise ships are back, which is huge for industry. The hotels are running between 70 and 80%. And even the convention centers are, are making their way back. And tourists are here as well. Yeah. And so lastly, we'll mention um, new construction. So between all of the development projects that are ongoing now and scheduled over the next decade, you have, um, I'll just name just a few because really too many to mention. You have Campus at Orden. You have um, IQHQ building out the Rad District. You have East Village Green. You have Seventh and Market. You have Gaslamp Promenade. You have Seaport Village. So just among two of those that I mentioned, IQHQ and um, Campus at Orden, Two million square feet of office space coming wow. in. Wow! It doesn't even count uh, retail. Wow! So we are um, number two in the nation in biotech, life sciences, and AI, only behind Silicon Valley, as you'd expect, and number five in the nation for uh, venture capitalist funding. Wow! So and that's going to development projects, retail business, etc. The main thing about San Diego when it comes to jobs is that they fall under two categories. They're either algorith algorithmic, as you'd expect, revolve an algorithm, they're very slow and calculated, but it'll always yield a certain result. And they're heuristic, which comes from the Greek word to discover. So it means to use your intuition to figure something out, to find something out. 
The plus about San Diego is that the majority of jobs are heuristic in nature. So, <laughs> so that means that people are growing these companies rapidly because they're creating them all on their own. And the skills needed to, um, to excel vis-a-vis -vis the life sciences, AI, biotech. They're, wow. they're heuristic in nature. So it's going to bring a really good demographic to San Diego. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thus shooting the growth of San Diego. So if somebody's looking to buy a home or sell a home <laughs> in San Diego, the property values are only going to go up. Yep. I would, I would, yeah, I, that's what I would submit to you. That's yeah. incredible. Incredible information. Thanks, Maxwell, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. High fives on that. Appreciate it. <laughs>